will be delivered. In terms of one of the complaints uh, I've received around my schools, and it's interesting to note the comment made by the Minister today about funding for disability services in our schools. If there's one complaint I've received strongly from the school communities throughout my electorate, uh, the public school communities throughout my electorate, school after school after school, governing council after governing council, is the funding of disability services. And in fact, the IESP program, which the minister referred to, now I understand has been suspended and under review because it was that cumbersome and difficult to get funding that most schools actually gave up on trying to get funding from these, for these students. So we had students in our schools who actually needed funding but weren't getting the funding and the support they require. Um, once one school um, said to me it could take up, take up to two days of a staff member to do one application for one student to get funding. And not at once that, that was done, uh, to make things worse, it went into this sort of process where we got, it got considered by some committee and often the funding was disallowed, the request was disallowed and no reasons given. Mr Speaker, I, th I think our children with disabilities and their families deserve better than this. We should be making sure that every child has the sort of funding to make sure they can reach their full potential in our public school, school system. Like most MPs, I visit my schools on a regular basis. In my recent visit to Manapara Primary School um, with the principal, I did a walk around to see what the facilities are like, and I came across uh, one of the buildings which actually had a whole range of fencing around it. And, that, uh, and I said, oh, is that building scheduled for redevelopment? And the principal looked a little bit embarrassed. He said, no, the fence is around there because the verandas on this building are not safe. They're structurally unsafe and the kids can't go anywhere near this building. But it's been used. It's a classroom. It's been used. It has fencing around the outside because the building is partially unsafe. And so you look around this school, Mr Speaker, this is the school which has been neglected by this government. There are uh, inadequate facilities for the students and 